Let's look at the third and final phase of the gospel promise. God will send enmity between the seed of the serpent and the ultimate seed of the woman. According to the third phase of the gospel promise, God also placed in Eve the promised seed. Was Eve's second son, Abel, the seed of the devil? Or the seed of the woman? Cain was of the wicked one, and murdered his brother. And why did he murder him? Because his works were evil, and his brothers righteous. Was Eve's second son, Abel, the seed of the devil? Or the seed of the woman? Who took Abel's place after he was murdered by his brother, Cain? And Adam knew his wife again, and she bore a son, and named him Seth. For God has appointed another seed for me instead of Abel, whom Cain killed. Who took Abel's place after he was murdered by his brother, Cain? Now Jesus himself began his ministry, at about thirty years of age, being, as was supposed, the son of Joseph, the son of Heli, the son of Mathat, the son of Levi, the son of Melchi, the son of Janna, the son of Joseph, the son of Mattathiah, the son of Amos, the son of Nahum, the son of Esli, the son of Nagai, the son of Maath, the son of Mattathiah, the son of Semei, the son of Joseph, the son of Judah, the son of Joannas, the son of Ressa, the son of Zerubbabel, the son of Shealtiel, the son of Neri, the son of Melchi, the son of Adai, the son of Kozum, the son of Elmodam, the son of Er, the son of Jos, the son of Eliezer, the son of Jorim, the son of Mathat, the son of Levi, the son of Simeon, the son of Judah, the son of Joseph, the son of Jonan, the son of Eliakim, the son of Meliah, the son of Menon, the son of Matather, the son of Nathan, the son of David, the son of Jesse, the son of Obed, the son of Boaz, the son of Salmon, the son of Nashan, the son of Amminadab, the son of Ram, the son of Hezron, the son of Perez the son of Judah, the son of Jacob, the son of Isaac, the son of Abraham, the son of Terah, the son of Nahor, the son of Sarug, the son of Reu, the son of Peleg, the son of Eber, the son of Shelah, the son of Canaan, the son of Arphaxad, the son of Shem, the son of Noah, the son of Lamech, the son of Methuselah, the son of Enoch, the son of Jared, the son of Mahalalel, the son of Canaan, the son of Enosh, the son of Seth, the son of Adam, 
the Son, of God. How did the promised seed, survive down through the generations? Then he inaugurated Joshua, the son of Nun, and said. Be strong and of good courage. For you shall bring the children of Israel into the land of which I swore to them, and I will be with you. How did the promised seed, survive down through the generations? What means did God use to keep his people, until Christ was born? But before faith came, we were kept under guard by the law. Kept for the faith, which would afterward be revealed. What means did God use to keep his people, until Christ was born? In the meantime, what did God promise Abraham? Now the Lord had said to Abram. Get out of your country, from your family and from your father's house, to a land that I will show you. I will make you a great nation. I will bless you. And make your name great, and you shall be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and I will curse him, who curses you. And in you, all the families of the earth shall be blessed. In the meantime, what did God promise Abraham? What is the name of the nation that came from Abraham? Moreover God said to Moses. Thus you shall say to the children of Israel. The Lord God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, has sent me to you. What is the name of the nation that came from Abraham? What happened to the nation of Israel? say to them. As I live, says the Lord God. I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked. But that the wicked turn from his way, and live. Turn, turn from your evil ways.
For why should you die, O house of Israel? What happened to the nation of Israel? What did Jesus say to the unbelieving Jews of his day? You are of your father the devil, and the desires of your father you want to do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and does not stand in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaks a lie, he speaks from his own resources, for he is a liar, and the father of it. What did Jesus say to the unbelieving Jews of his day?